This is a quick overview of three different type of pumps that are used for misting applications. Uh, this one in the center doesn't have a motor on it, but these other two do have motors on them. Um, the idea behind this video is to give you an idea of how the, the mechanics of the, each one of the pumps, the piston pumps themselves, work and to weigh out the differences, specifically, possibly, in longevity life of the pump. We've got three of them here and they all are constructed a little bit differently. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll start off with the center one. This doesn't have the motor on it. This is oil lubricated. You can see right here there's a port for an, an oil sight glass. So that means there's oil in there and, and it's lubricated pretty well. You do have to change the oil in there occasionally, but it's pretty much a sealed compartment. It really doesn't have to be changed that much. Let's just say a couple thousand hours. You might see it differently. This is a cat pump in uh, their literature, 500 hours. But this particular pump has such a short piston stroke. And the piston is in here and it moves only about three-eighths of an inch. So, uh, you know, and discussing that with uh, cat pumps, they believe that this particular pump has the ability to last quite a bit longer just due to the short piston stroke that's, that's in it. This other one here is also a cat pump. And since I'm from Minnesota, uh, all three of these pumps are Minnesota bred manufactured pumps. This is a pump tech over here on this side. But this cat pump is not oil lubricated, it's, it's water lubricated. And that means water goes in here or here and the discharge comes out here. And when water goes in there, the crankshaft itself that causes the pistons to go back and forth is in this case right here which is water lubricated. That means the uh, oh the bearing sleeves themselves are not steel on steel they're more like a Teflon or a nylon coating on nylon. So and then encased in water. That uh, shows you kind of what that pump is like. Um, now that this one here by Pump Tech is also to a degree water lubricated but it's in a little bit different manner and that is is that uh, this has the bearings themselves in in water where this has a mechanical bearing right in this area right here and that mechanical bearing pushes pistons back and forth which have seals on them and that mechanical bearing is open to the atmosphere it's kind of like it's like a wobbler bearing and um, so it just sits there and wobbles back and forth and causes these pistons to go back and forth and causes the pump to pump so this is an exposed and a greased wobbler bearing so this one uh, all of them are pretty simple low and low part containment so this really has no uh, lubrication on the pistons themselves except for the water coming in there's seals on the pistons uh, on, the, on the rings themselves uh, and then there's uh, also o-rings that are built into it to keep it sealed but there are distinct differences between the three you know again oil lubricated water lubricated but everything is water lubricated the, the cam no oh, I forget the name of the other one but this one's this cam in here is more of a bearing that's exposed you could take these apart and see that, and maybe in another video I'll do that. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the difference in the three. Now, also, differences within the motors themselves. This is a AC motor, 120 volts, and it's a... Uh, but this is AC, but this is DC over here. This is uh, open wires, and this is 0 to 90 volts DC. So you can use a DC regulator mechanism to regulate the speed of this. This is an AC motor, however, they do have options for DC. You can get 12 volt motors, 24 volt motors here. You can't get a 90 volt motor here, but here you're only you're limited to a 90 volt motor. But you can get this pump with an AC motor, and, but it is a different classification of a motor than this. Okay, I remember the name of this. This is, this is a shaded pole motor instead of a capacitor start or a permanent split capacitor. So. The nice thing about a shaded mo uh, pole motor is that you can vary the speed of it. So if you put a variac on it, something that varies the voltage supplied to it, you can actually vary the speed of this. This particular pump, when you get it, generally has the 
permanent uh, split capacitor or capacitor start motors in it and you cannot vary the speed on those. It's, it's a little bit uh, more difficult. Technically you shouldn't but that permanent split capacitor runs at a constant speed of 1720 RPM, 1700 RPMs approximately. And then this one is DC where you can vary the voltage into it to get var varied output. But the other option for here is a permanent split capacitor type motor. Uh, none of these options have the shaded pole. None of the CAT options have shaded pole uh, options. You know, the drawback of shaded pole, it, it, it is load dependent. And what I mean by that is, is if you had it running at 120 volts all the time, as you uh, have mo more and more pressure, more and more output out of the pump, the motor starts to slow down, where the permanent split capacitor motor uh, really doesn't. It runs at 1725 RPM, 1720 RPM, depending on the load output uh, that you put on it. So there are some differences there. Uh, DC motor does slow down also, but again, you have to put a constant speed on it, constant voltage, or vary the voltage into it. So that's what I wanted to explain on these uh, on this video. Uh, not so much the motors, but it was the concept of how these pumps uh, lubricate themselves. The differences between oil, water enclosed, and and water not enclosed. So that should do it. Thank you.